Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with baby Fen and Jeff. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Fen's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots and lots of motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Jeff is using a regular six-foot web training leash. He's also using a training collar. He is also using a clicker and treats. So we've pulled out our whole arsenal of weapons here <laughs> to get Fen to do what we want him to do and he's come a very long way. Now he is lying down very nicely next to Jeff's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. We've included treats because we want him to associate you with food and positive reinforcement. The first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Fen heal. Now at this point Fen has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when walking. Not forging ahead or lagging behind and each time that you stop your feet he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. Now, Great Dane puppies, and I used to breed Great Danes, are not military in their obedience. They just are gangly. He's a teenager. And sometimes the commands take a little while. But with practice, you're going to be just fine. And Jeff's going to go around one more time. So walking him should be relatively easy for you now. If you have a chance to run out and buy a clicker between now and tomorrow, I would do that. That was a great automatic sit. The next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home can be practiced indoors as well as outdoors, but I wouldn't include treats or food in your sit stay. So Jeff will heal him out of that. And we're going to demonstrate the come on command next. There we go, buddy. It's hot out here today, too. And he's used to being in climate controlled situation. I know. This time Jeff will call him out of that. And he should come in and he should come facing you and he should sit. No feet on you. You don't want this big dog knocking you or someone else over. And he wouldn't do it out of meanness. He just gets overly excited. So when he comes, he, co he should come and sit. Four on the floor. Jeff leaves him in another sit stay and he's going to call him again. Ben, come. Good. Come right in and sit. Perfect. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are Fen's favorite commands and that's lying down. So the first down is down from a heel position. So with him seated at your left, you're going to take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home is to lengthen out your time and your distance. But he does love this command. And sometimes I, sometimes I think that with growing Dane puppies, it's almost painful for them to sit, especially if their hips aren't great. So he much prefers the down stay, and you're going to get longer stays out of him using that command. So Jeff's going to get him up out of that, and we're going to demonstrate that again. I think Fen would stay there all afternoon. It's beautiful out here. So nice healing. He's keeping his shoulders even with Jeff's left leg. He's not pulling or dragging Jeff. 
he sat nicely left open palm straight down toward the ground down click stay Now Jeff can also call him out of this command. Uh, before I call him, I'd just like to point out, I give him the click when his hips turn over like that. Mm -hmm. He's sitting like a cat. I know he's going to get up. That's not the command. This is. Right. Then, come. Good boy. Good boy. So you want all of your interactions with him to be positive for right now. And you want the food to be a positive reinforcement. So even if, if you have to use some of his kibble as treats, I don't mind that. As long as he associates you and food with positive things. Now Jeff's going to leave him to stay and turn to face him. He's going to use his right hand to give the command, typically. Now, Jeff just took a stick out of his mouth with no <laughs> aggression. Sitting's the hardest thing for Fen, and I think it's just the stage of his development. Good. Stay. Jeff leaves him in a stay and turns to face him. He's going to okay. use the right hand to give the command. And that's your down from a distance. So we have demonstrated for you your heel, your auto sit, your sit stay, your sit stay come, your down from a heel, your down from a distance and come. These are the commands that I want you to practice with Fen. I want you to avoid, if possible, any negative interaction with food or toys or treats because he really is a sweetheart and he really is a big baby <laughs> yeah we've enjoyed having him we know you're anxious to get him home and rich will see you tomorrow and thank you for choosing us to train fen